Full face Fridays Testing out new makeup Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Full Face Friday. Today's video is an exciting one because we're going to be doing a full face using MAC Cosmetics. MacCosmetics.ca. Oh, I don't know. I know there's a lot of people who have a lot of feelings about MAC Cosmetics in general on the internet, but I just have to say that MAC Cosmetics has a really soft spot in my heart and soul because for those of you who have been following me for a long time on YouTube, I actually used to work at MAC and that's kind of where my love of makeup started and I just, I love MAC so much. I think that they've really been a pioneer in the makeup artistry and the creation of products in our little makeup world and a lot of people just kind of copied and followed suit, but MAC is the... MAC is the real OG. It's the real OG on YouTube. It's the real OG in the makeup world. In my opinion, I think they've done just so much for the makeup community and the world in general. And, um, and I love their products and I probably always will. So my love for MAC started in grade 12, which was the first time I ever had my makeup done. And I got my makeup done at MAC for my grad and they did such an amazing job. And I was such a I was such a twat. <laughs> I was getting my makeup done and the lady at the end was like, would you like me to apply fake lashes? And I was like, no, my lashes are long enough. I knew nothing about makeup at the time, truly nothing. And fun fact, when I actually started working at MAC, I think it was in my second year of university, I didn't know what concealer was. I didn't know what concealer was. So dear MAC, I don't know, I don't know what you were thinking about hiring me, but thank you for doing it. You taught me so much. I learned so much in my time working at MAC. And also in that time, it came up with a lot of favorites. So I kind of wanted to do this video. Half is gonna be like testing some of the newer MAC products. And then I also want to discuss my favorite products as we go along. A lot of my MAC favorites I still use and love today. And there's a few new products that I wanted to try as well, including their new Powder Kiss lipstick, which is really exciting. I'm actually doing a post with MAC on Instagram. So if you want to check that out, I'll link my Instagram down below, but I'm going to be showing you guys a few of my favorite colors at the end. I love the new matte packaging. It's beautiful. So without further ado, let's dive in and discuss the makeup. I actually wanted to mention two products, which I don't have here today. And the first being the MAC Face and Body Foundation, which is my favorite foundation. When I actually sat down today to film this, I was grabbing all the products. I realized that I left it in Toronto. So the MAC Face and Body Foundation is my favorite go-to foundation from them. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And when I actually went to Toronto a couple weeks ago and did my cousin's makeup for her wedding, I brought all of my favorites <laughs> and left it at the apartment in Toronto. So uh, MAC Face and Body Foundation, that's my favorite. I'm gonna use something different today. Not MAC, just to make up for that. I'm very sorry, but in case you're wondering, face and body, it's my bae. I use C2 and C3. It's beautiful. Very sheer, wonderful coverage that can be used on your face and your body and sets and doesn't budge whatsoever. And I actually also left my, oh, I'm so upset. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna have to go and play around, but I left my MAC Individuals eyeshadow palette. If you guys don't know, I have one palette with all of my favorite MAC eyeshadows depotted and magnetized into it. And I actually have a blog post on it, which I will link in the description box down below. There is pretty much nothing on my blog. I think there's a total of like four posts. Someday I'll get back into the blog life, but I did keep up the swatches and full walkthrough of my individual's palette. So if you wanted to see what eyeshadows I love from MAC, I will link that in the description box down below. And uh, in this video, it will not be here because I also used that at my cousin's wedding. So I'm very sorry about that. Let us officially dive into the products. My first MAC favorite ever, ever, and I've used this for years, and I've used it in so many favorites videos and just tutorials in general on my YouTube channel going back throughout the years, is the strobe cream. This is not the original one. They actually used to only have one shade of the strobe cream, which is now known as Pink Light. That was the original formula, and then they came out with a bunch of different shades, and I love the Gold Light formula. That is my favorite. And the strobe cream is just beautiful. It is super moisturizing. It has really nice little sheeny flecks of glow in it. I absolutely love it. I used to just soak my face in this <laughs> when I lived in Calgary because it's just so dry and my skin is so dry, but it smells delicious. It adds a beautiful sheen over the skin and you can apply this before, which I always do. I just apply it all over my face and like to soak my skin in the glow. Or you can apply it after and use it as a highlighter. You can do whatever you want. You can apply it all over your chest. They actually have a body version of this now, which is incredible because it's such a beautiful, 
formula and it smells so good. I love it so much. Another product that I actually left in Toronto was the Mac Fix Plus, the coconut version, which came out a while ago. I want to say a year ago, but I don't know the exact date, but they brought it out as a limited edition collection. They brought out coconut, lavender, um, a couple other scents, and then people loved it so much that they actually brought it back as a permanent product, which is amazing. The coconut scent is my favorite, but the one I have here today is a mixture of my two favorite things, the Fix Plus and the Strobe Cream. This is the Gold Light. So they basically took the shimmer and glow from the Strobe Cream and mixed it into their Fix Plus formula, which is beautiful. So I'm just gonna spray my face in this as we go throughout the video because it's so beautiful. Fix Plus, again, is one of those like OG products that just is a staple in so many people's collection. It's a hydrating mist. You can use it before or after makeup. If you apply too much powder, you just want your makeup to kind of settle in nicely. It really beautifully helps the product to sink into the skin and look natural. It has a beautiful glow. This version with the shimmer in it obviously adds more of a glow, which is why I decided to spray it on my face now and kind of let it settle in and add some of its shimmery loveliness into the product. So, so far, Strobe Cream Fix Plus, two favorites. Another thing I love from MAC are the luster drops now this one I believe this was a limited collection I can't really keep up they bring out so many limited products in their collections but they're luster drops they have some that are permanent I believe and then they bring out different versions as the time goes on but this was bronze hero and this is another one of those kind of bronzy glowing things that you can use to warm up a product I love to add this into my foundation or you can add it into strobe cream when you apply it just mix it in with any of your base products to add a nice bronzy warmth to it um, it's really beautiful in the summer or in the winter when you're missing summer skin. So I'm actually gonna mix this in with my foundation right now. I'm just gonna use Glossier Skin Tint in this moment of tragedy when I've forgotten my MAC face and body, so I'm really sorry about that. So you just take your foundation, and then I'm gonna mix in a tiny little drop of the Luster Drops, because these are very, very pigmented. And then I'm just going to mix that all in on my finger puppets and rub that into my skin. And it just adds such a lovely bronze glow to the skin. And for those of you wondering the difference between the Glossier Skin Tint and the MAC Face and Body, the MAC Face and Body has a lot more coverage in the skin tint, but kind of like a similar feel. Like you don't really feel them or see it on the skin. It just blends in beautifully with the skin naturally while adding a really nice layer of skin tone evening -ness. <laughs> Great. Moving on to concealer, one of my favorite old school products. I used this so much when I worked at MAC. It was actually my manager at the time, Sarah. She was a mastermind. Her and Aga were my two managers when I worked at MAC and they were obsessed with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, which is a product, like I meant, which I mentioned before, I didn't know what concealer was when I started working at MAC. So this was a really big revelation for me. And they swore by the MAC Concealer. They swore by the Pro Longwear Concealer. And it's a beautiful product because it has insane coverage. You can't really see it on the skin. It blends in beautifully. It doesn't crease. It's just such a good go-to product but it's nice because you can shear it out. Like you could take the MAC strobe cream, mix it in, rub it in together with your fingers and use it as a sheer foundation formula if you wanted to. It's so good, I love it. I have this in the darker shade. I have this in NC35, cause this is actually what I used. If you guys watched my Get Ready With Me and Ibiza, which can we just say RIP to my freaking tan because I was just watching that video back and I was so dark this summer in Europe. I'm so sad that my tan is gone, but I got so dark while I was in Europe that I actually had to buy a darker concealer. So I went and bought the Pro Longwear Concealer in NC35 and it's no longer my shade. Um, but I did want to mention that that is one of my favorite go-to concealers from MAC and I was actually really happy to rediscover it because I hadn't used it in a really long time. But recently MAC actually came out with a new concealer. This is the 24 hour Studio Fix Concealer Smooth Wear Concealer. Sorry, they actually sent me a bunch of shades of these and I don't know which one I'm gonna use And I've actually used this a couple of times over the last week or so But I don't really have a full developed opinion on it But I did want to mention that it is new from MAC. This is the concealer here. I'm gonna try using NC20 today which Actually might be way too light. That's really light. Wow. That's like wait JK We're just gonna switch over really quick to NC30 <laughs> and I'm gonna mix the two in here, and I'm gonna use quite a bit of this because I've got a lot of redness on my chin right now. So I'm not gonna lie, there's a little bit of discrepancy with shades here because this is NC30 and this is NC35. I know that they're two different formulas, but that is incredibly different. I'm going to spray my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge with the Fix Plus, give it a little squeeze, and then I'm going to use this to blend out the concealer. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see what's happening here. I'm just going to blend that in on the skin and it gives such a nice, this one's like almost a little bit more medium coverage, but I have a feeling that it could be very, very 
buildable. Silver powder, one of my favorite powders of all time was the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I got this in the shade medium, but the reason why I haven't actually repurchased it or used it since is because I used up my old one, which was in the old packaging. And I just, I have boycotted this new packaging like you wouldn't believe. I hate that they changed use you siren i understand that they updated the new packaging to have the mirror and look more sleek and whatnot but i hate this new packaging i hate it so much i miss the old packaging on the powders and that's pretty much the only reason why. i'm just being petty i'm just being petty that's pretty much the only reason why i haven't used it but i'm actually just going to dip my sponge into here and use this to set in the powders but it's one of the most beautiful like again og kind of makeup products that everyone used for such a long time the skin finish natural is beautiful i wish they would revert back i know it's never gonna happen it's pretty much why i stopped using it i didn't want to purchase the new packaging <laughs> and moving on to highlight when i was recently filming the video with sam i think it was the makeup bag swap video i'll link it in the description box down below if you haven't seen it i believe it was on her channel she she brought out the good old mac hush cream color base which i hadn't used in so long i used to love the one i think it was shell was the one i used to use it was the lighter kind of champagne color there was shell and pearl those were the two i used but she reintroduced me to hush so i simply had to use it today as a highlight there's such a beautiful natural I might actually use the beauty sponge but it's such a beautiful natural glowing highlight they have so many different colors and mac did such a good job with this formula it's absolutely stunning such a beautiful light formula no bits of chunky glitter it's just so natural sits beautifully on the skin and all around amazing highlighting product mac hush for bronzer if my memory serves me correctly i used to use the shade matte just their matte bronzer but i actually have this in the shade bronze but i like that they stuck with the original packaging they haven't transferred over to this thank goodness and moving on to blush to finish off the face my original this is the original one that i have this is my mac warm soul blush my absolute favorite blush from mac of all time this is their baked blush and they have since updated it to the new mineralized packaging which i hate so much but this is the old original packaging of warm soul and this is the original formula and i actually once tried to depot the product out of here like i was so dumb i don't know why i thought i could depot this but i was really into depotting i feel like everyone on youtube was it was people always used to make depotting videos of them making their mac palettes and stuff and i tried doing the blush and then swiftly realized that you can't do that with these baked blushes alana <laughs> so there's a little it's actually like forever sticking out of here kind of the product is out but I've had this for years and years and years and i've used it so much i don't know how i don't even have a dent in here but such a such a good color such a good formula and such a beautiful blush and this is kind of one of those products that i will never declutter and never get rid of because it holds such a soft place in my soul it's such a pretty blush i love it i'm gonna really quickly use the mac pro longwear waterproof brow set this one is in the shade quiet brunette which i needed empathetically blonde not entirely sure what happened there but we're uh we're working with quiet brunette here i'm gonna set in my brows using this. This product actually launched while I was working at MAC, fun fact. I remember we got all the gratis and I was so excited to be using it. It's a really great product. I actually am not sure why I haven't used it in so long, but um, yeah, I need to get the blonde shade because this is a little bit dark, but you know, we'll just use some, we'll just use some bold brows. I'm gonna have to go back into my old videos and see what the actual shade was, but I used to use an eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows from MAC. I had a little single shadow. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was mystery, mm, mysterious something, mystery something something. I don't know, I'll have to go back and see. I used to just use this one singular eyeshadow to fill in my brows and I used to do the horrible line block eyebrows. And it was actually my manager at MAC who taught me the trick of taking the eyeshadow brush and fluffing it into your eyebrows to make them look more natural. That was Sarah. Sarah Gibson, if you ever happen to watch this, thank you so much for teaching me that the way I was doing my brows wasn't a good look. Now listen, because of this whole eyeshadow palette fiasco, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with my eyes. I wanted to do like a full thing for you guys. I wanted to do like a cool look or whatever, but I don't have my eyeshadow palette and I'm really upset. To kind of make up for that, I thought I would do some kind of like really shimmery, glossy eye look and I thought that would be fun because Matt came out with their new dazzle shadow liquids so I thought it'd be fun to kind of do like a glittery look and speaking of eyes one of my favorite products 
ever are their paint pots. This is the Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Everyone on YouTube used to use this as an eyeshadow base, as the eyeshadow primer. You were either a major paint pot bitch or you were like on the Urban Decay Primer Potion side, you know? It was one or the other. And paint really used to be my go-to shade until I realized my yellow undertoned life. And I switched to Soft Ochre, which is the shade that actually works for me. So I'm going to use the Soft Ochre as a beige on my eyes. One of the best eyeshadow bases ever. So for the Dazzle Shadows, this is Rayon Rays. I'm gonna try using this. I haven't actually used these at all, so this is gonna be totally testing it out. But I'm gonna see if I can just apply this everywhere, like if I can use a brush and kind of use it like a cream eyeshadow, like how nicely they'll blend out. It looks like they're gonna blend out pretty nicely. I really just wanna do like a big Kind of crazy, shimmery, glossy lid. Oh, they do, you guys. They blend out so nicely. They kind of have, they get more sheer. But that's actually really pretty. Thank goodness. Well, look at that. This can be a one-stop shop product as well. Again, I'm just applying that all over the lid. Kind of taking that first layer and blending it out with the 217. And you can see it's just shearing out so beautifully. And kind of leaving that really pretty taupey haze behind. Blending out the edges and then just applying another layer of this. I'm just gonna talk about them as I go, but when I remember favorites, I'm just gonna blurb it out to you, but MAC Coffee Eye Pencil. Again, for those of you who have been around with my channel for a long time, that was like the only pencil I used to use for everything. I need to repurchase that. I actually forgot about it until just now or else I totally would have got that again to show you guys. Um, but yeah, MAC Coffee Eye Pencil. It's such an old staple for me, it was so good. This is such a pretty color, oh my god. What I'm gonna do is dip into actually the Warm Soul Blush. I'm gonna take a little bit of that on an eye pencil and I'm just gonna run that on the lower lash line. I feel like it actually blends really nicely with this color. I dig, I like that. I'm gonna use a little bit of the shade Every Day is Sunshine Dazzle Shadow Liquid and I'm gonna use this, if I can open it. <laughs> I'm gonna use this as a brow bone highlight. Oh yes, how lovely. I'm also gonna toss that on the inner corner. Wow, that is so pigmented, it's insane. These are so pretty. So my favorite mascara while working at MAC was the In Extreme Dimension. I used to sell these like nobody's business. I loved this mascara so much. I don't know if they've changed the formula or if it's the same. I assume it's the same, but this was my favorite mascara while I worked there. Oh, I think, sorry, this is In Extreme Dimension 3D. This is the 3D one, there's different. I think there's In Extreme Dimension, but also 3D. I haven't used this in years. I don't even remember what it's like. I don't even know if I'll still like it. All I know is that this is the one that I used to use while I was there. All right, so moving on to the lips. My two favorite lip liners ever from MAC. I used to use Subculture, like it was nobody's business. That was my favorite. And then in the later years, I used Strip Down, which is the one I'm going to use today. It's sharpened like halfway through the niblets. I love this thing. I think I actually went through one or two before. I don't know. I definitely used up many Subculture lip liners. Sorry, lip pencils. Such a good classic lip liner. I do love their formula. I did want to show you guys the, the new Powder Kiss lipsticks, which first of all, it's the matte. It's their normal lipstick packaging, but it's matted out. It's so pretty, and I really wanted to use this shade. This is Impulsive. It's such a unique formula. I think it's so, it's matte, but it's so thin, but then also kind of creamy while staying matte at the same time. I don't know how they did that, honestly. I think it's it's so unique. It feels amazing. Here, what the heck, I'll show you guys a couple of different colors. Um, this one is Burning Love, which is like a deep kind of eggplant purple. Such a gorgeous, bold lip. Very unique looking color too. BRB, gonna go wipe this one off. And then the final color I'm gonna show you guys is Mullet Over, this one right here. A much more peachy nude, but it's just, I don't know guys, I, I really think you should try this formula. I think it's so unique. It has a weird smell. But anyway, this is the finished look, very light, 
nothing miraculous here. Sorry guys, but I did just wanna show you a full face of some of my old favorite products from MAC and some new products that I'm really excited about and wanted to show you guys too. Any of the older kind of videos that I mentioned with some of my old favorite MAC products, I don't know if I ever made, I think I made a favorite MAC products or a MAC starter kit, but I might've privated it. I think that's like a really old video. If I did make it private, I'm gonna go and try and find it. I'll make it public again for you guys to see, but I'll also link my old MAC lipstick swatch video. I'll try and poke around for some old videos showing my old favorites as well. But, but this is kind of a nice way of showing you guys old favorites that I still use today. There's a lot of products that I continually reach for, especially the MAC piece and body, which isn't even here and I'm so sorry. But yeah, this is my full face using my favorite MAC products and some new products as well. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your guys' favorite MAC products are, if there's any that you'd like me to try. And let me know if you guys try the new Powder Kiss lipsticks. I think they are so beautiful. And if you have, let me know what some of your favorite shades are. And don't forget to check out my little lip swatch video that I did with MAC on Instagram. I will link that down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much as always for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!